or I haven't been to a bowl game or um, or anything of that sort. So I mean, I'm, guys are just excited to be out there in December playing ball, and you see all the seniors that are just counting down the days and they're not letting a practice go by without them giving all the full out effort. How much should they communicate the seniors and the classroom who have? The bowl experience. How much should they communicate that to you guys, the younger, the younger fellas, as far as not taking this for granted, this experience? Oh, a lot. Um, actually, Coach Bateman was out today because he was having um, eye surgery, so he wasn't out there at practice. So um, the safeties were down with him out, but MD stepped up big in practice, made every, every made sure everybody was running around, flying to the ball, making sure everybody was in the right spot with the coverages, and we looked really good. We didn't have any busts in the secondary, so it was really good to see. What are your initial thoughts on Temple? Um, they're a tough team. They're physical on both sides of the ball, offensively, def defensively. Um, watch a film on them, um, watching their offensive line. They're um, really physical, as I said. Their center, after watching film, is really good. I think it's going to be one of the best we've faced all year, so I think it'll be a good challenge for us. What have you seen so far out of Temple on film? Um, they know how to throw the football around. Um, they know how to beat cover three, cover four coverages, cover two, and they have an answer for all of them. And we're watching that on film that we have to make sure we're cued in where whatever coverage we're in that we have to be cued in with, be, be communicating. That's the biggest thing this for uh, this upcoming week when you're facing teams, you really know how to throw the football around. You need to make sure we're communicating on all cylinders so we make sure we're, play, make sure we're playing the calls right. Does their offense compare to any offenses you've played so far this year? Uh, I'd say pit a little bit with how well they the offense coordinator knows how to set up um, the receivers and run good routes, how to beat certain coverages, and also with their their jet jet sweep schemes, there is kind of like pit. How long before the South Carolina game did you guys start looking at stuff that they did, and is it more do you, you do it uh, further from the game now? And is there a difference in that? Um, from looking at Temple yeah, or farther you, away. Yeah, how long before you started looking at South Carolina stuff? And you're talking about Temple, you guys have already seen film, the game's still two weeks away. So yeah. is there a difference? And is it kind of odd, strange um, to look at film of a team you're going to play yeah. in two weeks? I mean, yeah, it's a little odd. But I mean, both teams have a greater advantage for preparing. So this week, like, we're focusing on first and second downs instead of just sweeping through through the week. Like, Tuesday and Wednesday, we'll do, we'll do first down, second down, and third down on both days. But, I mean – since we have a couple weeks to prepare uh, to get ready for them, I mean, we're looking at first and second down, and then we can do certain days where we just focus on third down. So I think it's helping us a lot. On the trip when you guys go up there, ask some of the other guys what they're looking forward to seeing or experiencing in D.C. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to, and have you been there before? Oh, no, I've never been to D.C. And I, um, actually, as a team, we're going to look around looking at some of the mon monuments and museums. And I mean, that's looking for, oh, well, I'm looking forward to. I've never been up there, and I know it's a really historic place, and I have some his historic museums up there, and it would be fun to go around looking at stuff. Jeremiah, going back to the uh, practice schedule, um, how much of an adjustment is it for you guys to have to wait three, four weeks or whatever to play your next game compared to, you know, throughout the regular season when you have that flow, you have that rhythm? And how much of an adjustment is it for you guys going through this experience for the first time? Um, I don't think it's too much of an adjustment for us, actually. Um, just make sure you still get in a f film room and not getting too complacent because um, already guys have been looking at Temple since we found out like a couple of days ago that we were playing Temple. So even um, when we went out for our player-led practices and we were thinking about the teams we we're going to face, we are thinking about Temple, Navy, the teams that they had us lined up to face. And um, I don't think we're skipping a beat. And we're actually, I mean, we're actually getting to sleep in a little bit more than usually we're having practice at getting up at 5.30, 5 a.m. in the morning. Guys get to sleep in a little bit more, get a little bit more energy when we get to go out there and practice. What time y'all practicing? Um, we're practicing. We nine thirty team meeting now, so we're okay. practicing around eleven. But uh, we're gonna be switching around. Usually now we're switching. I think tomorrow we're gonna have an eight thirty team meeting, so a little bit early practice. What What do you recall the feeling was like uh, when you walk finally kind of got over the hump and got clinched this bowl? So yeah, I'm sorry. What was the feeling like to finally get over the hump and clinch a bowl berth and 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 to kind of set the a new standard, so to speak? Oh um, man, I just think it's a relief. I mean. I'm just really happy that we could have done this for the seniors. Um, the past two years have been rough for for us, for the guys who've been here and the seniors who've been here. And um, I think this is the time that we just we finally got over the hump and we're going to change the standard around here and we're going to get back to going to bowl games every year.
your, your sophomore, two more years, uh, it's kind of exciting knowing kind of the trajectory and where it mm -hmm. could be next year, mm -hmm. your senior year. Is that yeah, good? absolutely. I mean, I can feel the trend changing. I mean, as soon as Matt came in, you could feel the atmosphere change. As soon as he came in, when Coach Hess came in, the atmosphere in the weight room, on the practice field. And I mean, it's, it's just great. I love to see, I can see it developing right from Oz. Speaking of Hess, is there anything you want to really work on in the off season to improve your body? Oh man, I mean, Coach Hess does it all. I mean, from a rehab standpoint, he, he knows as much as the, as the training staff almost, I believe. And I mean, he just gets us ready in the weight room, physically and condition, condition wise. I feel like every game we've played in, nobody's gone down with any cramps besides, I mean, the first game of the season. But since then, nobody's gone down with cramps or anything. So I think we're, we're a really well conditioned team. So is there anything you want to work on though in the off season? Physically? Um, physically, probably just getting a little bit stronger and put up maybe five point five more pounds on maybe get two two thirty, two twenty five. Um, and working with Hess, I mean he I mean, since I've been working with him I felt like my lateral quickness and change of direction has been really good because that's something he really focuses on on the off season is lateral quickness and change of direction. Jeremiah Mac thought is that uh, some opponents have used his age or tried to use his age against him on the recruiting trail. Mm -hmm. Does does he act old? It doesn't seem to us like he acts like No. Out of, out of all the coaches on the staff, Coach Mack brings the energy every day. I mean, you can see it. I mean, I mean, they, they can use that against them if they want, but I can tell all the scouts I tell everybody who comes in, like Coach Mack does not act, act his age at all. He comes in every day with energy. And, and once you see him, I mean, a guy that age, if you see him coming in with energy every day at 6 o'clock, 6.30 in the morning, like that should, that motivates us like to go out there. Why should we be tired? He's uh, moving around, energized, you know. Except in uh, post-game dances, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we're going to work on that in the offseason. We're going we're gonna to get them right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Jeff.